Hello there, Cancer, and welcome to your Looking Ahead messages for September 2023, Cancer. And as always, Cancer, we're going to be channeling out all that we can when it comes to the month ahead and what you need to know. So, Cancer, what does Cancer need to know when it comes to the month ahead here? You need to wait. Bide your time for better results. You're continuing to let go, or for some of you, you may need just to let go and give to yourself right now, okay? Take time to replenish. Um, I'm getting the situation where you waiting is the best thing for you in the month ahead here, okay? So I feel a lot of you Cancers, there may be something here too where um, we're making this steady, beautiful, wonderful progress of letting go what we don't uh, need or what no longer just serves you, okay? So bide your time for better results in a situation here. What else does Cancer need to know? You have something that's going to be successful. Let's get a little bit more too uh, with the success for Cancer for September 2023. Let's get more with the success for Cancer. Yeah, spread your wings and fly. Wow, I want you to see this. Oh my goodness. Look at how both those arms on both of these cards are spread out. You know, there's some type of victory here. Something too about allowing yourself to shine. So this is the best time right now. What I'm seeing is you're doing something here where you're utilizing your time to concentrate on something about yourself, about your situation, and you're really rising up here um, to feel good. So some of you, you might be in a place of really recovering, healing, um, illuminating yourself more and more. Spread your wings and fly. I'm getting like six of wands energy as well. So I feel that you're meant to actually bask in the limelight or bask in some type of, you know, um, something that's gonna make you feel motivated and yes, successful victory here, okay? So let's see here. There may be something with an airplane travel, um, not for all of you, but you know, there could be something here with flying. <laughs> okay, let's see what else for cancer. So this landed on weight too. getting more information. Let's get more about getting more information for cancer. See, bide your time for better results or, and also <laughs> you're getting more information here as well. Let's get a little bit more with get more information for cancer in the month ahead. Oh. Intentionality, the eye of the needle here, cancer. So guys are doing something here when it comes to having confidence with um, a new beginning, a totally maybe unexpected brand new outcome for yourself as well. So we're getting some, so Spirit wants you to work on intention, focus here, um, and allowing yourself to really th um thread what it is that you want into your reality here. So I feel a lot of you, um, there may be something here too with um, getting back to what motivates you, especially if it has to do with work uh, or some projects that you got going on or maybe, you know, with relationships as well, okay? So you do need to uh, take some time right now because you're utilizing intention you're getting more information so that you know what it is that you want to bring into fruition okay into your reality so i feel that there is something that you need to um, expect when it comes to uh, something brand new in your life okay but you have you're the creator behind this uh, what else See, look at this. It landed on weight, and I was talking to you about recovery, uh, cancer. So you are doing something with recovery, health, healing, uh, doing things to replenish yourself, getting more knowledge, information here, utilizing this time to get very clear about what it is you really desire, what you want, um, and what you know, not what you don't want, right? 
We've had enough of that. You're letting that all go. Now it's a time to get focused on something brand new here. And yes, and also basking in some success here. What else? If you believe, hmm, it might, maybe for some of you, there may be something here with a lack of belief, um, maybe feeling maybe five of pentacles energy in a sense here where we might be feeling alone or we might be feeling a lack of support or we may be um, feeling not so successful, you know. Um, there may be something here where you have to look beneath the surface too, right? So continue to um, fine tune your beliefs, uh, Cancer, because that's what's going to help you anyways get very clear about what it is that's coming to you, what it is that is being created in your reality, okay? So do things or get more information as well when it comes to believing, having confidence here. Um, and also, I'm getting something um, for some of you Cancers um, to not second guess yourself, okay? Or to practice not second guessing yourself. Um, what else, especially when it comes to choices? What else does Cancer need to know when it comes to September 2023? Ask your angels. There's th so much going on with um, utilizing this time in the month ahead to talk to your higher self, fine-tuning your visions, your goals, fine-tuning yourself here for recovery, replenishing here, because you will be shining here. <laughs> In fact, I see you feeling um, incredibly awesome and energized. So take time to ask your angels to help you, give you signs or to help you with something um, or to help you remain positive, okay? Whatever it is, your angels are listening to you and you need to believe this, okay? Believe in a higher power. What else? Also, uh, Cancer, this is a general reading, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out past oracle messages um, as well. Ooh, uh, we've got Lost Compass, getting back to integrity, and this was going on this, um, getting more information here. See, there is something that's really sharpening here. I mean, we really are seeing something you know when it comes to um the root of what we need to start with here right so getting back to in integrity lost compass cancer i feel that there's something here where you're getting really focused on what it is that you really truly want and desire which is helping you get back into a um corrected direction uh, if that's the word I want to use or, you know, get back to uh, following your internal compass and trusting it. Because I do feel some of you cancers, um, you might have built a habit to second guess yourself or you've just been doing it a lot lately or there's just something about not doing it and trusting yourself more and more. Okay, let's get a little bit more too with this lost compass for cancer. What do you want cancer to know when it comes to this? lost compass and you are getting back into integrity see this is why have patience with yourself in the coming month here okay it's really important and it's important not to skip this part let's get a little bit more with lost compass for cancer a new spark here okay i feel that some of you, if you've been feeling a little lost, lost with direction or lost motivation or whatever it is going on here, um, there is going to be a new beginning. There is something that's going to spark your interest. So I feel slowly but surely, maybe for some of you, just doing things that help you get back to wholeness and integrity with yourself, um, start something brand new for you. Okay. So I do feel that there is going to be something that is going to really make you feel energized, um, motivated. There's just a lot of uh, there's a lot of strength 
that I see coming from like the sun here onto you. Okay, so I'm kind of even getting like sun card energy coming through here as well. Spirit of place. There's a not a whole lot going on except for you are really being in tuned and uh, turned on by the spirit of place here. Okay, being one with your higher self, with spirit, with nature. Take time. You are getting a lot, a lot of information too here on how to do something to uh, cancer. So you're going to be given some knowledge here as long as you do take uh, take the time to recover, to let go. Uh, to continue building your faith, okay, and strengthening your um, mind as well, especially if your mind wanders to the surface of things that you don't really <laughs> like or maybe we're not even seeing. And I'm not saying all of you are, are doing that or are going to be like that because there is a lot to appreciate, but um, I see you just kind of taking your time and really feeling one with everything, uh, Cancer. So, uh, this is a time to tune in and connect with a spirit, connect with nature, connect with your higher self here. What else? Embrace the fact that you are the world. Wow, I'm getting like world card energy here because I do feel that there is something about you feeling successful coming into a sense of completion or just a sense of feeling whole, okay, and being proud of yourself. So there may be something that you're doing here on the internet as well for um, a lot of you cancers. Um, but yeah, embrace the fact that you are the world. You are part. You're not separate, okay? Because I do feel some of you, you know, with that lost compass, you know, there may be something here where You know, we feel a little, uh, that five of pentacles, like isolated and alone in the world, but you are the world. Okay. And I, I get something too. I'm getting this thing where maybe some of you cancers, you may be already doing this or it may happen here where for some it's like, um, you know, you could be feeling like as you're moving up, you know, the ladder of success, it might feel like things get a little bit more lonely, but don't worry. Okay. Things are um, working in your favor. Just take your time. You don't need to rush anything anyways. Okay. Uh, what else for cancer? Hmm. Rock bottom. Hmm. What, what is it here? Yeah. So we are, we are threading something new. See, there is something brand new that's happening here. I feel some of you guys have already uh, felt this sense of rock bottom. Let's get a little bit more, though, too, with this rock bottom here. Because there's something about choices as well, uh, Cancer, okay? So I feel you want to wait on something here. Say no to something that you know could um, upset the balance with, with you right now. Okay, because it could lead to another um, ending here that might, you know, <laughs> again, you're you're in a state of recovery here. So we don't want to have to redo something. But let's get a little bit more, too, with this rock bottom for you, Cancer, when it comes to September 2023. Pursue your true wealth. Okay, so you're only going up from here, Cancer. Um, whatever you feel is a wall or an obstacle, uh, maybe it will happen in the month to come, or I feel some of you cancers already felt like you've hit rock bottom in a situation. Um, just know that you are pursuing your true wealth and, you know, find out what motivates you, what drives you as well. Cancer. Again, I do see a lot of you guys really fine tuning something here when it comes to dreams, visions, the things that you really value, the things that you want. Um, and use utilizing intention um, in the most productive way here to get the results that you want. Okay. So, you know, some of you, there could have been, you know, this isn't, yeah, some of you, you may need to, um, for some of you cancers, you may need to just pay attention to your finances. Okay. We do have purse and wallet here. So, and you know, we are pursuing true wealth, but you may need to conserve in the time being here. Okay. So let's see what else. 
Yeah, we're some something is going to give you guys a lot more strength as well here, Cancer, and will also help you maintain a sense of balance and integrity, right? And being poised as well here. So I feel don't let something challenge you. Some of you, it's like I feel for some of you coming out and showing what you're made of. <laughs> Uh, might be a little bit hard for some of you cancers, not all of you, but um, yeah, I feel that you're meant to um, go into something brand new here, right? Something's like a dead end, really, right? And you already know this. So you are moving towards something brand new and maintaining a sense of strength and integrity as well. And we're not moving too fast now, are we, right? But we're holding still. So have compassion for yourself too in the uh, coming month. But I do feel that there's an opportunity here. Either it's information, uh, someone, something here that will um, give you a boost of strength. Okay. What else? Don't stop. See, something's going to get you guys really motivated and going here. Don't let something stop you either. If some of you cancers hit some type of wall or whatever it is, just continue your strive, okay? Do not stop before the miracle occurs. This might be a challenge for some of you, okay? Let's see here. <laughs> we even have like weight. Yeah, but you want to you you want to continue recovering. You want to continue doing things that strengthen you. You're doing something right now that is really important um, in the coming month here. Uh, what else for cancer? Oh, yes. See, covenant, sac sacred contract. See? Oh, my goodness. I love that. I love it. And I feel like I need to look at this one, too. Yeah, the lay of the land, ancestral wisdom. Oh, this is really nice. <laughs> you Okay, you know what I'm getting to? These are like two separate messages, but they're also one, one message here, too. Sacred contract, rest and renewal. <laughs> we have Garden of Venus, by the way. Wow, what are we doing here? We're really uh, doing things that help us recover and stay strong here. So it's like you have you have some type of sacred contract, um, Cancer. That I, it's like something's happening, like some type of new beginning, new contract here where you can really rest and relax here and replenish. Man, this is almost kind of like you know I don't know if there is a connection between maybe you and I think it was Aquarius, possibly. I think it was Aquarius. Anyhow, you may resonate with that reading or that uh, zodiac sign possibly here, or you may um, find yourself connecting with maybe someone with Aquarius um, placements, but you have, you have some type of new sacred contract. So do not worry, take some time to rest and renew, but I am getting like Empress energy as well. So, you know, I <laughs> cancer, I just feel that a lot of you are just really You're really going to be fine in life, Cancer, okay? Um, and I do feel, Cancer, that you're meant to come into a new phase of abundance here, okay? And really experience that for the long term. And you're going to be shown the way. So don't worry here. Also, fine-tuning and listening to your um, ancient ancestors as well because you do hold and carry ancestral wisdom within you, okay? And something is being laid out for you, okay? Maybe it's some kind of new thing for you, but um, there's going to be something and someone that's gone before you that's going to help and show you the way, okay? And, oh my God, I just can't even... We got like three cards that like, it's like sun card and like six of wands type of energy. Okay, look, look at the position that they're in if you can see that <laughs> with their arms up. Look at that victory. Look at that. Spread your wings and fly. Oh my goodness. Don't second guess yourself either. Okay. Not saying that you are, but maybe some of you. <laughs> Let's see, what else? I mean, this is beautiful, though. Look at these two beautiful cards. And it's a blank contract. So it's like, again, so something totally brand new. Woo, what else for cancer? Okay. 
Cancer, I feel that you would resonate with the last uh, um, SOS reading as well. So I will put, um, which is someone's Oracle messages, I will put that link in the description um, below. What else for Cancer? Doctor, heal thyself. Look, recovery. There could be something significant with... Um, you know, a doctor, maybe medicine man, medicine woman um, as well. Not necessarily, you know, like MD doctor, but yeah, it could be some kind of MD doctor as well. Uh, but I'm just seeing you guys having mastery and also a lot of you cancers are healers, okay? But heal thyself. Take time to honor and heal yourself. You don't have to rush into anything either, okay? I feel like we need to be your own best friend here here's something that we have to do be your own cheerleader and best friend if you need to okay and don't worry because i do feel some of you might be feeling a little alone here as you're rising up feeling successful or you know just rising up in a situation okay but you got something beautiful going on here it's all about rest and renewal here and and, and feeling that and, and maybe even maintaining that Maybe some of you guys are just tired of all, all, like work, 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 work for some of you. Not all of you, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's continue and see what else for cancer in the month ahead here. Oh, yeah, cancer. There's something. There is something better. <laughs> just I feel okay, cancer. I feel that you will have some kind of opportunities or options, but just focus on recovery. Focus on yourself here. Spirit is saying, there's something better, Cancer. It's worth waiting for, okay? What else for uh, Cancer? Yep, you're in the, see, Cancer, you're, you're in the middle here. Here's this whole initiation. You're in this crossing right now, uh, Cancer. And by the way, I, want, I do want to get something more with this as well. Let's get more with the, um, there's something better. So allow yourself to fully cross here before we start putting things on in the pathway, right? Let's get a little bit more with the crossing. Oh, excuse me. There's something better. Let's get a little bit more with something. There's something better for cancer. Let's get more. Hmm. Departed loved ones, you are loved more than you'll ever know. You're going to be loved more than you ever know. I kind of had the feeling this is something about love, um, passion, or feeling, really feeling loved here. Now, you know, some of you cancers, you really, again, your ancestors, wise ones from the other side too, okay? But yes, your departed loved ones as well is coming through here. But look at this. I'm getting this strong message about you um, being loved more or, you know, you are loved more than you'll ever know, right? I feel that cancer, when it comes to reciprocity here, there's something better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else for cancer? Perfect time in cancer. Hmm. Some of you guys, oh, something that may have gone down or will go down will be perfect timing, but something that's coming together is perfect timing. Let's get more with this perfect timing for cancer. Let's get more for perfect timing, sacred contract. Mm-hmm. Yep. Perfect timing. So say no. There's something that you are going to need to say no to um, and continue to just wait, uh, Cancer. You're going to know your body, your heart is going to know what to say no because in perfect timing, a better opportunity is going to happen, Cancer. Okay, just know that. So, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen in the month ahead, the opportunity, but for the time, you'll, you'll just know to say no to something that just feels uh, repetitive, okay? Uh, what else for Cancer? Oh, Cancer, I just get so much as this is Chariot <laughs> and you like just being in your power too because uh, Cancer, that Chariot is Cancer's energy. Get into the driver's seat of your life. That's exactly what's happening here. Wow, there is something about you. There could be something significant too with the car and, and 
But the thing is, is that I'm getting is you, you may have felt, or for some of you, if you get a little distracted or lost or maybe needing direction, you're going to get some type of, some type of spark or motivation back or a new spark, something that's just going to make you feel again, like you're totally in control of your own life here, you know, really mastering your destiny. But you are for, for at least for the month ahead here. I see you getting into the driver's seat of your own life and taking complete charge. What else? Okay, reconsider. Asking our angels, there's something, okay, there is something about recovery here. So let's get more to with reconsider, especially when it comes to uh, some choices and decisions. See, some of you cancers, there's going to be something going on here with um, choices. Okay, this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, cancer. Oh my goodness. Look at this. There's something that you might want to hurry up here or do something premature. So just keep that in your awareness here. Now, some of you guys, you just need to know, you're going to know that it's not, okay, look, reconsider because it's not the right time because it will be the perfect time, okay? So some of you, if you feel in your body, in your heart, and, and you just feel to say no to something, then you got to honor that, Okay. There's a lot, there's something happening here with real integrity and balancing at play. What else for cancer? You're giving to yourself here, which is creating um, abundance. And also cancer, I feel that you will be uh, gifted or, you know, you will be able to ask for help from others and, and be able to trust that and honor it and receive it fully without feeling guilty about it at all for some of you. So we've got some real abundance. Um, you know, there's something about charity here too. Maybe some of you cancers might be getting into some type of charity or volunteer work, or you could be doing something with fundraisers or something charitable here for some of you cancers. But anyhow, you need to experience some type of abundance. You know what, cancer, this is so okay. It's almost okay. <laughs> it's almost like I knew what your the title of your reading was before I even knew I was going to be doing cancer's reading. It's something like, um, <laughs> it's something like, okay, for for you, cancer in the month ahead is like, you're not okay. You're, you're okay. You're gonna receive something, but you're not gonna receive it yet. Be, yet because you need to receive this first, okay, and really be in it. And be in the state of receiving and asking uh, for help from others um, and be open to that, okay? Because that's also going to help you guys receive um, something way better too when it comes to matters of the heart for a lot of you. Uh, what else for Cancer? Okay, that's it for those. So Cancer, let's find out what do you have to look forward to when it comes to the month ahead. What does Cancer have to look forward to? You have to look forward to it. Oh, spirit is just like, uh, <laughs> sorry, cancer. It's not like, you know, a million dollars or anything. Well, maybe, maybe it'll eventually be, um, trust. Okay. Maybe trust with another as well. But yeah, what you have to look forward to is complete trust and trust in the process, trust in yourself. What else does cancer have to look forward to? Oh my God, I had a weird feeling that that was going to come out too. <laughs> I had a weird feeling. Okay, there it is, Cancer. You have romance, okay? Some kind of love, some type of emotional exchange with another is what you have to look forward to, Cancer. My goodness. So you do need to wait on something here, okay? Give to yourself. Quit. For, oh, ooh, some of you Cancers might got upset with me if I said that. Well, I felt like quit complaining for some of you, Cancers. <laughs> And look at your blessings and trust that you will have romance here. Okay, that's what you have to look forward to. All right, Cancer. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.